Hey guys, Chris Mover here. Welcome today to a new video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install Windows 10 Insider Technical Preview um, onto your computer from a USB because most people don't have like, I don't know, why would people use DVDs? Uh, why would people not use DVDs? But I don't know. But basically, how to create um, a Windows, how to install Windows 10 from a bootable USB. So firstly, of course, what you obviously need is the Windows 10 Preview ISO. Um, you can download it from the official website or the other ways to get the preview. Um, as of today, which is the 7th of June um, 2015, uh, the latest update, this, the latest ISO release uh, released by Microsoft is 10130, which I have over here. Um, download it in an ISO. So next, all you need is of course a thumb drive that's about 4 gig, like preferably 4 gig. Um, well, actually you need something that's like 8 gig because a 4 gig thumb drive will probably only have like 3.77. Um, gigabytes of space and the ISO files is usually 3.8 gigs so I guess you need something like a 8 gig thumb drive or something yeah so just get a thumb drive that's enough space to keep a 3.8 gig file basically and make sure that you back up everything in your thumb drive because your thumb drive is about to get wiped out now after you do that go to this website over here which I'll put in the description below and scroll down and hit download so I'm going to use Rufus 2.2 so if I download save file and we download over here save all right, so once it's downloaded, hit open and run as administrator. Yes. You wanna, uh, no. All right, so Rufus 2.2 opens up. First, choose your device. So I have my 8 gig thumb drive plugged in, so there. Um, just choose all the default. All the default settings are fine, um, except this, which you want to set to NTFS. You don't want to, want to leave it as um, FAT, just set to NTFS the size default whatever and you want to rename it I'm gonna rename this Windows 10 and quick format create a bootable disk using this ISO image now click on this icon over here and select the ISO that you got so check everything okay I'm just renaming this again Windows 10 um, make sure it's all ready and hit start all data have destroyed click OK and it will start now this will take some time so I will be right back once this is done. See you guys. And we're finally done. Mine took about 18 minutes and 10 seconds. I'm not sure how long it should take. I guess if you have a faster system, it should be faster. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this part. Before we move on to this part two, which I show you guys how to actually install Windows 10, just make sure you have backed up everything um, that you need. If you save stuff on your local disk, which is where you'll be probably be installing Windows 10, then you better back up your stuff and Yep, alright, so once you've backed out everything and you're all ready, shut your computer down and we are ready for part 2 to install Windows 10. No, no, no.